awesome time at the mooring field in Fort Myers Beach, and with Holiday fully restocked, we sailed towards Naples. On this leg, for the first time in our trip, we noticed the water getting clearer and turning that beautiful turquoise blue that we had been waiting to see. It was a great day for sailing, and we just sat back and relaxed. Lindy took the opportunity to bake some bread, and we also kept our eyes open for any sea life that might be passing by. What you doing in here, Lindy? I'm gonna make some bread. It's fun. It's beautiful out here. We saw a gigantic sea turtle just a little bit ago. The biggest one I've ever seen. We entered Naples through Gordon Pass, then passed by a bunch of bajillion dollar houses on our way to the mooring field at the city marina. After a wonderful time in Naples, we sailed to Marco Island where we stayed at anchor for over a week. After Marco Island, it was time to leave the city life and head off into the wilderness of the Everglades. And it just so happened that on the day we were ready was Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving! We are leaving Marco Island today. We've been here about 10 or 11 days. We're in Smokehouse Bay, and then yesterday we did a sea trial because we've been having some engine overheating that we've been troubleshooting, which uh, the engine's still overheated. So we uh, turned around and came into Factory Bay in Marco Island. got some other parts for the diesel, worked on figuring out what it was, and we think we've got it fixed. The engine temperatures are normal. We've got Holiday loaded down with food, water, dinghy gas, diesel, and we're headed out for the Everglades. We've got some Thanksgiving food. So Lindy's going to make us a Thanksgiving dinner after we get anchored this afternoon. It's 30 miles. Should take us six hours or so. Hopefully we're going to do some sailing. We're out Capri Pass now. In the Gulf. Got the RPMs up to 2,500. The temp is below 180. As we motored by Marco Island in light winds, it was cool to see the abrupt halt of buildings and the start of the wilderness of the Everglades. Doing some sailing now. Headed out to uh, gotta go around Cape Romano Shoals. Then we'll head in towards the Indian Key Light. The Indian Key Pass. That's where we're going to anchor. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear what they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. Going where the sun keeps shining. So we're headed by Cape Romano Shoals right now, we've left Marco Island, and as soon as we get around Cape Romano Shoals, we'll head back towards shore, and I can see far in the distance the line of the 10,000 islands in the Everglades. How you doing back here, Lindy? sun keeps shining through the pouring rain going when the weather suits my clothes just came in indian key pass we're in the 10,000 island now it's really really pretty skimming over the ocean like a snow so we've gone off indian key pass now into what is russell pass <laughs> This is going to be a sweet anchorage. And we're in Everglades National Park now. Really cool. That is Indian Key Pass where we where we came in. Uh, we're just hunting around for a spot to anchor. 
here is as good as any, but I kind of wanted to go look around that point right there just to see what it looks like. So we'll see. All right, we've got the anchor down. Really, really nice spot it looks like. Everybody's talking to me. I don't hear a word they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. I won't let you leave my love behind. There's dolphin all no, over I won't the place. Let you leave. This is an awesome uh -huh. thing. So, Lindy, you want to tell us a little bit about what you got going on in here? I'm cooking Thanksgiving dinner. I got some mashed sweet potatoes and uh, ham, some dressing, and a sauteed zucchini for Thanksgiving dinner. Sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of butter. Lindy's down in the boat making Thanksgiving dinner. All right, it's Thanksgiving dinner, Everglades style. Lindy has cooked a delicious meal. We've got ham steak, sweet potato mash. Dressing, although Zach's bought it stuffing to every person that he's talked to on the phone today. And also sauteed zucchini. Mm-mm-mm. It's just silent out here. Bugs chirping, it's beautiful. All right, I think I'm going to join Lindy and start chowing down. We are full of stuffing, dressing, which one is it? Yeah. Dressing, ham, mashed sweet potatoes, zucchini, gravy. I had seconds. Lindy was smart. Beetles and moths are attacking us. Get out of here, beetle. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I just woke up and it's a beautiful looking morning in the Everglades. I think it's going to be a good sunrise. pretty cool as the sun comes up you start to hear osprey, kingfisher, and I hear like a woodpecker back at too. After a beautiful sunrise on the day after Thanksgiving we decided to take a dinghy ride through the Everglades into Everglades City. Oh we're taking a dinghy ride into Everglades City. It'll be about a three mile ride through the Everglades. Should be pretty cool. What do you think Lindy? I think calling it 
through the maze of mangroves of the 10,000 islands was really cool. You wouldn't want to try exploring off the beaten path here without a GPS. You'd never find your way out. It all looks the same, but it's really, really pretty. So this is Everglades City. I think there's uh, mainly just airboat tours here and Everglades tours and fisher people. In Everglades City we saw a ton of historic buildings from the early 1900s where ambitious people tried to turn this corner of the wilderness into a booming town. It was even the county seat at one point. Alright, so here's the historic Rod and Gun Club. Inside the Rod and Gun Club was like stepping back in time to the early 1900s. Many presidents of the era have stayed here as well as movie stars through the years. There are a bunch of kingfishers right over here. That's them chattering. I can see one right there. That's it, that's it flying there. And there's another one there. One of my favorite birds. Saw a couple of osprey over here. There they are. And I see a great blue heron here on that Australian pine. And it looks like a group of buzzards sitting up there in that tree. Lots of bird life around here. I love it. As we got close to where we were tying up, we saw the airboat tours crisscrossing around us. We got tied up, walked around the city, saw the historic sites, ate some stone crab claws, then headed back towards Holiday. So we tied up our dinghy here at this really nice RV park and they gave us the gate code and the really nice guy, Bill, there gave us uh, recommendations on restaurants and I guess this little street here is pretty much Everglades City. That afternoon on the way back in, as well as the following day, we spent a lot of time exploring the maze of mangroves. It was really neat motoring around in the back country, and most of the time we felt like we were the only people for miles and miles. The Indian Key area is a great protected anchorage with tons of wildlife and beautiful nature everywhere you look. Add in a tour of Everglades City and I'd recommend this anchorage to anyone traveling up and down the west coast of Florida. After we'd explored around the mangroves till our hearts were content, we decided it was time to go find our own private beach. It was our last full day at Indian Key, and before we headed deeper into the Everglades to Little Shark River, it was time for some serious relaxing. 